Hi, I'm Deborah Atkinson, founder of The Voice for Fitness, and I have a quick tip for you about a really simple way that you can help yourself burn more fat. So that's what it's all about. It's not burning calories, it's not losing weight, but it's about losing fat and burning more fat to keep it off and stay lean where you feel good and you have energy. So I'm frequently asked, you know, how do you do that? What's the best exercise? What's the best diet? What do you do? I'm gonna let you peek over my shoulder. So one of the things that I do, and I have had to do more of in the last 18 months, when I moved to the mountains where everyone says it's a dry heat, <laughs> is drink more water. So hydration has a lot to do with not helping you burn more fat, but on the flip side, preventing your cortisol level from rising. Your body gets stressed when it doesn't have enough hydration. And we know cortisol does block fat burning and increases fat storage, particularly in your belly. So if you've got that little tummy roll and you never had it, do a check-in with your water. Make sure you're drinking enough and not too much of other things that cause dehydration or that cause you to hold on to water weight. So you want to be going to the bathroom frequently with clear running urine and that's still by far one of the best tests. Here's when to drink water though. It gets a little deeper than that. So I watch a lot of people make the air of sitting down to a meal and drinking a lot of water, thinking that they're doing themselves a real service and staying very hydrated. Here's the idea. It actually interferes with digestion a little if you over drink or over hydrate at your meal. The ideal time to do it is say half an hour before a meal or just before you sit down even have an eight ounce glass of water. But then try to do it regularly and in fact, here's what I do so that I don't get caught late in the afternoon needing to catch up because you really can't. Once you're dehydrated, you're dehydrated and it's really hard to get back on top of that again. So I think of on the hour trying to drink a half cup or a cup. So if I'm exerting, exercising, I'm going to try to drink a half cup. If I'm outside hiking, I'm going to make sure it's a full cup. If I'm just working at my desk, even at altitude, Probably a half of a cup is okay, as long as I'm staying hydrated naturally. So in between meals, make sure you're drinking half to a full cup every hour. Drink a cup right before a meal and just drink at meals enough to eat safely. So we don't want you choking, but we also just want you washing down that meal. Let yourself digest really well before you start in again drinking water an hour or so after a meal. And keep that up throughout the day. And here's something that a lot of women over 40, over 50 even, avoid is drinking right before they go to bed. But overnight, you can easily get dehydrated if you exercise first thing in the morning or if you're like me and you are fond of your coffee with caffeine and that's how you start your day, you start a little dehydrated early in the day. So if you drink a glass of water at night, by the time you've learned this habit, you'll be a lot less likely to need to get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. And I know that's maybe based on whether or not you're taking medications that also interfere. But as you gradually increase the amount of water you're drinking every day, take your temperature, find out how much water are you drinking? Just write it down tomorrow. Every time you have a glass of water, record it. And other liquids count, but water is by far the best. Filtered water, put a little lemon in it, add a little fruit in it, whatever you need to do to infuse it and make it taste good. Hydration is one way to help yourself burn more fat. And that's been your brief tip of the day for the After 50 Fitness Formula for Females.